Or yeah. Just a, I thought that was just a you play whatever no, the record is. I think I think that's still the case because as of right now in the bubble, Phoenix is seven and zero. I mean, they're knocking on the door, and that one game ahead of them is Portland. So we'll just we'll just have to see what plays out tomorrow, tonight, and tomorrow. That's exactly I, what I it keep. Is. Yeah, I keep getting new rules that I, I didn't know from you and Tom on, on these stuff, and uh, I'm not I'm not too thrilled about it. Either I'm not paying not attention enough, th- or or I don't know. I, I'm not lying, Kevin. I'm telling you the <laughs> truth. They're, they're, <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, like I thought, thought I was thought he was too. I'm like, no. I just want the details. Game. There is a huge possibility of an NBA playing game. Shit. Like so, both so the Wizards get to play, even though they're behind the Bobcats. No, 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 no. This is only this is only for the the only team the only conference that's going to be able to do that is the Western Conference. Why? Now. Now, I have seen this. NBA and NBA Players Association announced the COVID-19 test results uh, August 12th. So that is obviously today. 342 players tested uh, since the tests were last announced on August 5th. Zero have returned positive. Imagine that. Essentially, there's another little paragraph that says this. um, But it says the 2020 NBA playoffs will begin August 17th. So... Monday. Monday will be the start of the playoffs. Now, what I have been told, and I'm trying to double-check and make sure that it is correct, the play-in game, the way it's going to work, because it's between the 8 and the 9 seed in the West, the 9 seed has to beat the 8 seed twice. So, But there is no play-in in in the East. No. Why? They're they're, They're not close enough in games. Shit. So that's the, I, I, Christ, Hunter. I thought if you got the eight seed, you was in. Now, dang it. So now you've got to play a series to get the eight seed. Listen, now they will have a whole other thing today probably that I have to read as well <laughs> because there, it's all scenario based on, on who's going to even play in this game. It's all scenario based. Like yesterday, the scenario, there was a lot on the line between these teams because, it, you know, it was, it's basically a three-way tie right now. Between Memphis, Portland, and the Suns. And they all depended on one person to lose and the other person to win or for them to win and the other two teams to lose to see what was even going to happen. It's it's crazy. Seriously, it's crazy just the um, w- what has to happen for this playing game to work. Now, if you look at the, sc- at the standings, technically, there should be no playing game. Because Portland is, in fact, one game ahead of Memphis and Phoenix. There shouldn't be. Half they have game. one more win. Well, okay, half a game. But, see, that's where the problem's going to lie. They're not going to be able to be a full game ahead unless both those teams just lose their next two games. Why didn't they just set to – jeez, shit. Uh, this would have been so much easier, Hunter. Uh, I could have fixed this. Hey, Portland doesn't have to play uh, the Lakers or Bucks or somebody that's already in the playoffs – and they yeah. only play seven games, and then, well, jeez. Uh, they, you know, when you have the opportunity to change something, it's I like it a lot of times uh, to, to, to yeah. make things better. Um, but but sometimes they just really shit the bed, the decision makers on. <laughs> on <laughs> like, how do you – I, I swear we used, to, we used to say about one – this, this one organization – that all their leaders would get in the room, Hunter. Yeah. Give, give their best idea, and to make everybody feel good, they chose the worst one. And that's how they operate. Are you talking about the Hornets? No, I'm just, I'm just saying no. Oh, oh you're I, just saying okay, okay. I'm just saying that there, there is an organization or a committee or so, or, or just something to where we just believe that when, whenever they, they just get in a room, everybody gives their ideas. And they vote. Yeah. And whoever gets the least votes, that's the one they go with. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Because how do you is... come up with? You know, we should not only should we play eight preseason games, we should have a play-in tournament for the eight seed just in case they don't. <laughs> and then if that's the case, nobody in the East gets to do it because the Hornets are are, are just just too many games out. Yeah. So, so like that's right. Me- that's Memphis right. is Morant was right, Hunter, when he said this isn't unfair to him. Is that even if they play and win the eight seed? Then they still got to play for it again. 
Right. No, you're right. That's exactly what he said. He said this is set up against us and when it first started. And that's the truth because really they were the only team that had the that was really had the opportunity to lose their spot. Yeah. Everybody else had already been invited or already was solidified and they were the only team that was at risk of losing their spot. And that's exactly that's just what happened. And it's crazy because nobody thought that Portland was going to be able to even make a run in there. They were, what, two or three games back at one point? Same with Phoenix. Mm-hmm. I never would have thought Phoenix had an opportunity of making the playoffs. No, I didn't either. Now they're, t- now they're tied because of this eight-game series, these these eight games. They've gone 7-0 and oh so far. All they got, if they win one more and you just went by straight rankings from what you did in these past eight games, Phoenix would be first because they're the only team that's been undefeated. So I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I said it from the beginning. I thought it was weird, and I and my ploy was that they were trying to get Zion Williamson in. Little did they know that the Pelicans just weren't going to give a shit anyways <laughs> when they showed up. So they get the next best thing, which is going to be Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers probably making it. That's who I'm leaning towards, and that's who I would much rather see play against the Lakers in the first round. I know that's who the Lakers don't want to play in the first round. But I would much rather see Portland make it because they're battle tested, and Damian Lillard is a stud. So I'd much rather see them and actually put up a fight against the Lakers than a young Grizzlies team with John Morant, who are probably going to get bounced in four or five games. I feel like the Portland could take them at least six, and maybe maybe win. Um, you know, <clears throat> I know you like you some Damian Lillard. But oh, he went off last night, man. I tried. He had sixty-one. I know. I try to tell you though. The point guards leading your team in scoring is is a killer. Um, God, I wish I had the uh, the the artwork that Marcellus Wiley had, 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 had for Dane. last night. Do what? Nurkic played bad last night though. He fouled out and only had six points. Um. Well, what I was getting at is that <clears throat> just you know. Your best player, so-called best player, had 61 points, and you only won by three. <laughs> yeah. Andy's your point guard. Um, yeah. To That's me, 51 the to other me, night. To me, those are, are, aren't are good signs. Um, remember, this is kind of the preseason. Um, how hard was Dallas playing? Um, just uh, got some got some worries about them. Uh, I, I, listen, I, I like their talent, Hunter. You just... Once you get in the playoffs and and if you start losing, it, it's it's like Mike Tyson says, everybody, you know, you, everybody's a pretty good or, or, or a good fighter or whatever till you get hit in the mouth the first time and then then things change. Um, so what will happen when Portland loses a the game there in in the playoffs or that hey, they might not even make it? Like I said, they got to play and they got to beat Memphis twice, and Memphis mm-hmm. has just got to beat them once in two games. So. Uh, another weird. Dude, that was just a weird setup altogether, Hunter. Um, I was trying to find Portland's last few years in the playoffs, and just to kind of give you a, an idea uh, about exactly what what I mean uh, that they've been doing, which hasn't been too great. Um, so the NBA also has announced that there will be an all seeding games team. And a player of the seeding games honoring the best games on the 30th. The awards will be announced Saturday prior to game one of the Western Conference play in series. So it has been confirmed there will be a play in series, in fact, for the eight nine spot, for the eight seed between the eight and the nine spot in the Western Conference. <laughs> Pan- panel of sports writers and broadcasters have been on site at the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, they will vote on the award winners. There will be a five-player first team and a five-player second team. No breakdowns by position. Uh, and the top candidates for the best player in the bubble are looking like Devin Booker, Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, James Harden, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and TJ Warren from Indiana. So it looks like they're going to have awards as well. Voted on. Um. Well, good, good for everybody. So I guess, yeah. 
<laughs> for, and especially for those that are going to get sent home. Who knows? You might get voted to one of the all bubble teams. That's what they should have called it, the all bubble team. <sighs> Shit. Stop it. Not the all seeding games team. The all bubble team. Well, well, that would have been so funny. Speaking of the bubble and non bubble teams, how about um, do the do the teams like the Hornets and you know Wizards and other team? Not necessarily the Wizards since y'all got to play in the playoffs. But um, as far as the lottery goes, Hunter, should the teams not making the playoffs all have the same lottery odds this year, or should they still do the percentages? I don't think they should do percentages for them. For the teams that didn't make the bubble, I think they should just go uh, worst to best. If that's the case, uh, I, that's me. Though. I mean, if the, if this oh, is you're, the year you're talking you just about just change. straight, you're talking about straight up worst to best. I was talking about. I'm talking about, Should I'm everybody talking about get the same stuff. number of? Should everybody get the same number of ping pong balls? Is what I was gonna say. That's what I would prefer. I mean, I was talking maybe just everybody else get ping pong balls that made the bubble, but the teams that didn't get to make it, I mean, y'all just sucked enough that they decided to leave y'all out. So y'all just worst to best, y'all get the y'all get to pick. That too gets the, the ping State pong balls pick. every year. Hunter is the worst huh? teams. The worst teams always get the ping pong balls. That's what they're for. Well, <laughs> yeah, you got your. Get... <laughs> they always put the, the the teams that made the bubble or the playoffs in reverse uh, order of record. Think they, need, they think they need to flip it. <laughs> I mean, oh God, I, that's not what I was asking, but I hear you. I I, I get you. Like, because think about it, Golden State was shit all year. You should have the number one overall pick. And I know people are gonna think I'm crazy because what they'll do with that is they'll be a package deal and just trade it for a superstar. So what? If that's what they want to do with it, then do it. If you got a team out there that's willing to move off of a superstar for them, do it. I don't care. Draft picks are are. There's no guarantee that a draft pick's even gonna play out in the in, a, in the NBA, NFL. You've got a whole larger percentage of that draft pick playing out than you do in the NBA. So, I, I don't know. Uh, what would the Hornets be picking if you did it my way and you just did yeah. least of least of best? They probably be exactly where we think they would be. <laughs> probably where they, pack. where they get every year tenth. Like tenth or eleventh. What. Well, exactly. Do, so they would do the ping pong balls. We'd still get tenth, one, two, three, six, ninth. That's what I'm saying. So whether you did it my way or the ping pong ball way, the only difference with the ping pong balls is the ones that might be picking one through three. That's mm. it. That that only be the only difference. Everybody else, congratulations. You're probably picking where you think you're going to pick. All right. So, so go ahead and have the NBA prospects ready. So Minnesota and Cleveland both have 19 wins. One has 45 losses. The other has 46 losses. Who gets the second pick? Uh, one with the 46 <laughs> losses. You shouldn't have lost that one more game. You should have won it. <laughs> You'd have had a better record. Now, now Hunter, I'm, I'm 100% with you on all these things about, you know, woulda, coulda, shouldas, uh, but you didn't. Uh, exactly. Like, like Bill Parcells yeah. used to say, your record is uh, what it says you are, uh, and you yeah. are what your record says you are. So that's that's where Bill Parcells was. Uh, on that line of thinking, so I feel you. I don't on know. That. It's just weird. This whole se- that's why to me is like yeah, this whole season's been weird. Just make it weirder. Just make it weirder. If you've been trying to get away from the ping pong balls for years, just make it weird. Just do it. This is your chance. People think we still watch the lottery. Who cares? I, I see the results tomorrow. I watch the. I watch the lottery every year. I just don't like how they do it uh, with the. Because to me, it's not that they're not as uh, what do you say when 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 you're trying to transparent as as it could be, um, mm-hmm. you know, with they don't let you well, see them. They don't let you draw the numbers. They don't show you. I mean, our our government, you know, lotteries. They draw it on TV, and you have to you see it, and they're approved and everything. Yeah. And the NBA does this these numbers behind the scenes and don't draw them. And you a letter. It used to be Hunter where, and it was pretty simple to understand, is that if you're the the, the worst team in the re- the worst record in the league, got thirteen ping pong balls. The next mm-hmm. one got twelve. The next one eleven, and you just pull it till you got everybody. Basically, yep. now the way they do it, everybody gets they do the numbers zero through nine or whatever, and then every team is assigned. A certain number of, of of number combinations, 
and they draw those number combinations out, and that's that's how they pick those top three, and then everyone else goes in, in the order that you talk about anyway. So the, basically what they do is every team in the lottery has a chance to win that one of those top three picks. They pick three with the lottery numbers, and then everybody else goes in order. So, so Kevin, what you're telling me is— Instead of being is... simple, it's extremely, extremely— It's even hard to explain. So what you're telling me is— they rigged the Hornets to not get Anthony Davis. That's is that what you're telling me? They screw the Hornets every year. Okay, that's all I needed to know. I feel like that was that we, was what that was. I, yeah, we were one spot away from Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis, and Shaq. Don't tell me that's not a conspiracy. <laughs> what do they have against Charlotte? I, I don't know. I think you know maybe George Shin had some dirt on David Stern back in the day. I I, I don't. There was something weird with that 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 whole. Well, maybe season. they'll make it up to us this year and give us the number one pick. So so here's Portland's exits the last few years to the playoffs. All right, you ready? Yeah. Swept in the conference finals. Oh. Swept in the first round. That was last year, wasn't it? Right. Swept okay. in the in the first round. Swept in the first. I'm going backwards. Okay. Uh, gentlemen sweep in 2016. That's one win if you were counting. Gentlemen sweep in 2015 in the first round. Gentlemen sweep in the second round. Didn't make it 13. Didn't make it 14. So last year they made the fight, the conference finals. They beat the Nuggets in a seven game series after beating the Thunder four to one. Then the Nuggets, then the Warriors got swept by the Warriors in the conference finals, which I thought they matched up pretty good with, with with Golden State. I thought they and did. got swept. Uh, but the Durantula is something, something. And I think that's why I give them such a good shot this year if they do get in at the eight seat. Which do you, which team do you think has more firepower? The Golden State Warriors from last year, if everybody's healthy, or the Lakers this year? Well, Golden State. And you thought that they still matched up really good with them last year. Now we do some addition here. I thought they They've matched up better. I in. thought they matched up better than a sweep. I'll say that. I thought they could get one off of them at least. That team You don't make, you nasty. shouldn't. You shouldn't make the conference finals or the finals and get swept. Is is, is kind of my feelings on yeah. that. If you did, it's still nasty. If you did, you, you just you just choked. Um, in a way, listen, Hunter. I saw the freaking Supersonics go down three zero to the Bulls to a seventy two win Bulls. Now, if you if you're not beat by then, uh-huh. yeah, and, and you don't quit, and I saw that team not quit, and that team keep winning. They won two straight and scared the living bejesus out of Chicago. Um, you know, I, after seeing that, it, it's tough to see teams get swept once you get to the conference finals. The like Cardinals got swept in the World Series one time, and I was just like, what just happened? Like, like, like what's yeah. what's the point of even even getting here? Even well, last year, after up. they beat the Braves, they got the, they, I don't know if they got swept or got a gentleman sweep last year. Uh, they got swept last year like, by the Nats. Like, you're just like, what? You know, what's the... What's the well, point? that's how I felt with the Braves getting 11 hung on them in the first three innings. I was like, why'd you show up? <laughs> why'd you show up? That's, that's yeah. exactly how I felt about it. But that, but that's what I mean, though. Is like that, that Golden State team, I know injuries is what cost them, but I, they probably would have won the championship again, and that they were just special because of all the talent that was on that team. So if you look at them – Compared to the Lakers, if the if Portland pulls the Lakers this year, that team last year was obviously more talented than this Lakers team is this year. So I would give the I would give Damian Lillard and, and the Portland Trailblazers a huge percentage to possibly upset the one seed. That because the Lakers have not looked good in this bubble, they have it, man. They got blown out the other day by the no. No, I think the Lakers barely won. And beat the Nuggets, but the problem was the Nuggets had all their starters on on minutes restriction, and they struggled with him. So to me, it's I I think the Trailblazers can can knock them out. Now, will they make the conference fight championship? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But if they do, I don't think they got the fire firepower to beat the Clippers. Yeah, because their two best scorers were McCollum and Damian. I mean, you just put Paul George and, and Kawhi on them. Or you can put Patrick Beverly on one of their hips just to make them mad. Uh, to me, that that defense is a whole lot better than what the Lakers put out there. So I give them an opportunity, but they have to make it. 
because it look they're gonna have a play in game regardless. All right, here's I think the bi- Portland. I think Portland has solidified that they're in the play in game. I just don't know who they play. All right, here's the biggest flaw for every team according to your favorite network. <coughs> you. Don't worry, I'm looking at it too. Milwaukee, uh, Giannis's shot, uh, Toronto shot creation, uh, Boston. It says the MVP. Uh, I guess that means Giannis is their biggest problem. Uh, yeah. Miami is Jimmy's buckets. Uh, talking about his his jumpers. So now we're complaining about that. Uh, Pacers, it says shot diet. Uh, they are just 29th in the NBA making uh, threes per game, and they rank last in free throws made and free throws oh, rate. No. So neither one oh, of those no. is good, are good stats. No, that's that's awful. Uh, Philadelphia uh, says the fit. I don't even want to read all that. I'm just saying without Simmons, I don't think they have a chance. And Brooklyn Nets are going to make it. And who who, play, who plays for them? Uh, I, I right. don't know. Uh, it says out west Chris for the Lakers. <laughs> yeah, for the Lakers it says uh, all the bricks. Uh, and what they mean is that by their by their shooting, Hunter. Uh, Without some of their shooters on the court, uh, they've they've not been doing well. I I heard a or saw a I don't know I didn't say I heard it. I, let me say I saw a comment about what LeBron made about one of his teammates. And Hunter, we've already started it. The blame game. What is it? The blame what game. You, what what was it? I don't I, I don't think I it's, saw it's, what it's said. passive aggressive, is what it is. Mm-hmm. So LeBron yeah. says something to the nature that. Uh, for them to win the championship, Kuzma needs to play well. well. What about you? What about what? What about Anthony Davis? What about the stars? We're always right. worried about what the third or fourth guy does on LeBron's teams. Always is the biggest concern. Always, it is so just draining to hear a star player say something like that. Well, we need this guy to play good if we want to win the championship. He didn't say like. You know, we need Kuzma when, hey, all the time. We need him out there. Say, it's just we, to win the championship, this guy and it better play good. You know what I'd say is, well, no shit, Sherlock. We need everybody to play good. <laughs> like, all of you have to play good if you want to win a championship. Okay? No shit. Stupid. <laughs> uh, Clippers on court chemistry so far. Um, Denver, uh, I don't even know how to know what they're saying that there the the two the, the two best seats. offenses in the bubble have been portland and denver portland leads all bubble teams in scoring but the nuggets defense is allowing uh 121 a game uh, it's a big red flag they say uh it won't matter how healthy harris and barton are if they don't start getting more stops again hunter to me how hard a defense are you playing right now in the bubble when you're already locked in so I, yeah. I th- this team is 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 set up to score. Um, I think they can play defense. I just don't. I don't think they're a dominant defensive team, but I think they can play good enough to win hmm. games. Um, uh, this will all change whenever the big boys start playing. And yeah, as soon as they games. count, you know. Um, yeah. Houston's problem says the their interior. Uh, we, we mm-hmm. talked about that. They have no big men whatsoever. Um. Dallas says easy threes. I'll read their thing real quick. Luka Doncic is phenomenal on offense, but he doesn't do much to help the Mavericks on the other end. Dallas plays above average defense when he's on the bench and below average defense when he's on the court. <laughs> above when he's on on, on 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 the bench. Um, the Mavericks opponents are thriving on the perimeter, making forty percent of their threes. Uh, Doncic plays a role there. The league average for contest rate is eighty six percent. It's just amazing. Like they, they, they basically the way they do the NBA now. They just say, "Well, nobody's gonna play defense." So we're on, nobody's. We've been saying that try. for years, though. They so said they're not even gonna try. And and we longer the days that of the Detroit for years. longer the days of the Detroit Pistons and the and the San Antonio Spurs locking locking teams down. It's funny because that's what we've been saying for years. When we watch 
regular season basketball. I'm not talking postseason. When we watch regular season basketball, it's all we talk about is how no team seems to want to play defense. It's always offensive juggernauts out there. You see teams out there dropping 120, 130, and then they'll come out and say, oh, well, the defense is uh, – the Lakers have the best defense in the league, and then the Clippers have the best defense in the league, but they're still allowing like 105, 106 points per game. Right. At, some, and then, at what point, I'm, Hunter, at what point – Statistically speaking, mathematically speaking, does if you score, like if you have a spectacular dunk in a game, it's 100 points. I mean, it was only 2% of your points. You have yeah. a spectacular dunk in a game that's 130. <laughs> We're getting to the point where, you know, every layup, every jumper, some of it is almost meaningless to the point where, well, damn, you know, we got 130 points to go. If I miss this jumper, who cares? I'm firing it away. Yeah, like, think about it. What is it? 82 game season? Mm-hmm. You want these guys to play hard for 82 games? Sometimes they got back-to-backs. They got to travel all the time. I mean, what do you want out of these guys? Hey, like I'm... you said, it's a bubble. These are exhibition games for some of these guys. You really think they were going to play hard on defense? Look what happened to Ben Simmons. Ain't none of them trying. If they're a star, ain't none of them trying to get hurt, get hurt right now because right. of what's on the line coming up this coming week. My biggest thing on the on the NBA's hustle, and not just NBA, just, you know, but all sports in general, but it's easier to see in the NBA. When when Jordan was playing, in the the way the salaries were, for example, he was making thirty million, and everybody else was making one or two. Yeah, and the it's now turned into where your bench players are making ten million dollars, and how are you? Uh, I'm I'm just saying, what's the incentive to hustle? If you're making ten yeah. million dollars in an eighty-two game season, what's your incentive to, to to try hard when when in one season you can make as as much as as people who played before you did their whole careers, and and then they turn around and trash the older players and, and tell them they don't know what they're talking about and and blah blah blah, blah. but but it's just when when your guy when your role players hunter are paid an exorbitant of amounts, you're not going to get your role players to do too many hard roles. Do you Correct. understand what I mean? Correct. I can, I can agree with that. Who wants to go out there and take a, a charge from LeBron? Not for ten, not, not at ten million a year. Not 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 for ten million dollars. And some people. people would say, and it's crazy because you know others would be like, yeah, for ten million dollars, of course. That's you know the old saying. Oh, I'll go out there and be a practice dummy for a football team for a couple hundred thousand dollars. I'll let them beat the hell out of me. And a lot of guys are just like, uh, pff, excuse me, I'm getting paid how much, and you want me to do what now? <laughs> yeah, they just I don't know, they just don't like it. It's yeah. strange. It's strange. I but that that statement, the defense, and who else did they say had a problem on defense? It was uh they said Denver as well. Please. Yeah, Denver's not guarding by right Please. Now. Like I want you to think about that. Right now everybody is probably trying to get their offensive game back in the flow of things after not being, you know, playing at game speed for four or five months. And they're not really focused on defense, okay? That's exactly what's going to happen. And look at this, Utah Jazz. What they said for them, some help for Mitchell. I said this as soon as I saw Utah play. As soon, And this is what they, they the guy wrote. As soon as Bojan Bogdanovic was done for the year, Utah's offense became a giant question. I've said that every time I've watched Denver or, or watched Utah. They can't score. They can't score without him. I think Utah right now is at the four seed. Whoever plays them is probably going to upset them. Seriously, I think it, I think that's going to happen. Um, they just don't who? look good at all. Upsets Utah. Okay. Actually, no. Utah might have dropped because of this because they played so bad. What are the standings? We need U- to know. Utah is, um, and Houston should be the four and five. Yeah. No, Utah dropped. Utah, Utah is, is the sixth half seed. game now, so it's it's Denver uh, and Utah right now. Houston and Oklahoma City. There's your Chris Paul, <laughs> yeah, and Westbrook matchup in the first round. I I Utah's. I don't think Utah gets out of the first round. Oh no, they're playing Denver. Man. Get them out of there. Sweet, I know, they're not sweet, they're Hunter. They, I mean, it's they might. I I will give you that. Denver might sweep Utah. Seriously. Listen, Robert Ory has twice as many rings as LeBron James. Mm-hmm. So when I tell you that Bo Bo is the secret, I'm not saying. 
he's going to be out there scoring 25 a game. But he's the, <laughs> he's the mismatch. He's the secret. He's the one player in the corner. He's going to hit the shot when it matters. It's going to come. It's going to happen. His time will come. Uh, Denver, uh, well, if they host Utah, I, I, they're in, the, the top three in the West are my favorites. I like Dallas and Portland. I don't have anything for Houston, Oklahoma, or, or, or Utah. I think Houston could, could, could make a run at the Lakers because I don't think the Lakers want to guard them at all. Um, but so, I mean, to me, Hunter, if Lakers get Portland in the first round and squeak by, Houston in the second round, and they have to chase those guys around for a little while, even if they do yeah. make it to the third round, now how much juice and energy does LeBron have to be guarded by Either either Kawhi and Paul George or the Nuggets running out all their people at him. I don't know. I, I don't know. And one reason Can why they score I'm not with so the sold on <laughs> I don't. One reason I'm not so sold on the Lakers either is because you know Charles Barkley said it, and, and you know I, I usually take what Charles says to heart because I mean he just spits it to you straight. Charles said the X factor for if the Lakers are going to win this is Anthony Davis. But to me, Anthony Davis can just be so inconsistent. You don't know which Anthony Davis you're going to get every night. Right. Are you going to get the Anthony Davis that shows out knowing he's a top five player in the league? Or are you going to get the Anthony Davis that couldn't even shoulder the weight of New Orleans all the years he was there and only made it out of the first round one time? I, I don't know. I don't know if the lights are just going to be a little bit too bright for him right now when the playoffs start. Because, see, that's one thing that LeBron has really been – I think he's happy that he's been able to do this this year too is he doesn't quite have to shoulder everything. He can kind of let AD do what he does too. And especially – and I've said it before, you know, LeBron's not getting any younger. They're, they're, we all want to think that a Superman because he never gets hurt got hurt last year and he just keeps getting older each and every year. He's got gray in his beard, okay? I mean, he's he's getting old. So eventually him carrying teams is going to stop, and I think that started this year. So if Anthony Davis is the true X factor for the Lakers, then I really I don't have a ton of confidence in him. I don't because of what he has proven to me in the past when he was the guy in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You're now you're just the guy with a different team. You you couldn't make it work there. Are you going to make it work here in L.A.? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I'm intrigued though. I'm ready for. I, I am ready for them to get started. Um, I'm ready to see who can really win these. What is the first series? What is the first round? Five games or seven games? I think they're. Are they all seven? I they, shit. Every time I have an answer, y'all tell me I'm wrong. I, I would hope seven, but you know, you could, I, I think they I, are. I, all I could seven. be wrong about that too. I, I'm not. I don't want to speculate. But when I look at the East. I mean, five, six, seven, and eight to me are just non-existent. One through four are the only ones that have a possibility of pop maybe coming out of the East. All right, uh, Hunter, let's uh, swing over to some baseball to finish up here. 